Hello jewellery makers, today I'm going to show you how to make this little motif that once you've made lots of you can pop into a bracelet as I've done here. You can make single motifs and make into earrings or you can really go for it and make lots and lots and lots of motif and turn it into quite a substantial necklace. Now the motif is incorporating two, maybe three of my favourite seed bead shapes. If I just show you what we're going to be using. We have dart beads, which we'll need two of for each motif. Then we've got 15-0 seed beads, 11-0 seed beads and super duos. Okay, that's all we need. I've taken a piece of thread, I'm using white fireline, which is a six pound gauge and I'm using a size 12 needle. Now the reason I'm using a size 12 needle is because we're incorporating 15 O's into our design. And because they're the smallest of the seed beads and we will be going through more than once, you'll need the thinnest needle possible. So I've got a piece of thread about 60 centimeters long. So we don't need a huge amount of thread for this little project. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to check the holes of our dart beads. Now a dart bead has three holes, one at the point, one through the centre, and one through the base. So we just check that all three holes are nice and open. So that's one and two. Perfect. And the reason we do that is the last thing you want to do is get halfway through your project and you go to sew through the next hole and there's a blockage. Okay, I do that with all my multi-hold seed beads and check glass beads. So we're going to take our first dart bead and we're going to sew through the point and then we're going to pick up the following combination of beads 1110, 1, 2, 3 super duos and I've already previously checked the holes are okay on these and an 11 0. So that's 11, 3 supers and an 11. Then I'm going to sew through my second dart in the point again. Okay, sew that through and then I'm going to pick up another combination of the beads in the centre there. So an 11, 3 super duos and an 11 0. I'm going to slide those down and then we want to tie them in a loop. You don't need to stop a bead because we're making a, a loop at which we're going to cut the tail off. And I'm going to simply tie a single knot which will bring your beadwork together followed by a double knot. And those of you who've watched some of my previous demonstration videos will know that that's my go-to knot combination of choice. Okay, so that's the base of our little motif. So next, what I'm going to do, and I'm only going to do this once, is I'm going to thread bridge from the knot, where this little turquoise 11 o bead is, up to the middle hole on the dart bead. And I'm just going to simply sew through. So this is the one and only time that you will do a thread bridge in this design. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to lay this nice and flat. And what I want to do is I want to fill the gap between the dart bead and the super duo, super, super, and the dart. And we're going to fill those four spaces, each with three 11 seed beads. So one, two, three, into the super duo. And don't be, don't be worried about how the beads sit at this point because we'll be altering the shape of those as we go on to the next stages of the design. Three beads into the 11. Let's pull, if you pull it, you get a little triangle forming. Then one, two, three, into the next super duo. Pull, and again you get a little triangle. And then the last one, we're going to pick up three into that middle hole of the dart bead. So we're going to sew across, so through the dart, like so. Okay, so we've done one side of the motif. So what we're going to do now is we're exiting through this middle hole of the dart and we're going to step up to the base of the dart, incorporating three 11 O's. So we're going to sew through the gap, and this is known as the shoulder. So that's nicely sewn on. And then what I'm going to do, I'm only going to do this twice, 
is we're going to pick up seven of our 11 O's. And what we're going to do is I'm exiting through the bottom hole here. I'm going to take my needle round and back through the same hole. So when I pull the thread, we get a little seed bead loop forming. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go still anti-clockwise and I'm going to sew through the first three of those 11s. I'm going to miss the fourth and I'm going to sew through five, six and seven of that group. I'm going to pull the thread and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and I'm just going to hook it into that middle 11 no that I've missed. I'm going to place the needle through and I'm going to pull the thread, pull the needle, pull the thread again and then you get a distinct point at one end of your motif. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to sew again back through that top hole of the dart bead. Then I'm going to fill the space from here to here with three. So one, two, three. I'm going to fill that shoulder space. Go through the middle hole of the dart bead. And now I'm in the right position to fill this side. So again, groups of three. One, two, three, into the super duo. Three, into the next super. You can get a little wiggle, it'll make the triangle there. It's not imperative you have a triangle because as I said we'll be changing the shape of that in the next round. And do it again, that's the next side. And then we're going to go up to the shoulder. And we're going to go so into the shoulder, into the middle, and we're going to sew all the way through the, the, the dart bead, like so. So we've gone all the way through that middle hole of the dart. Okay. And then we're going to repeat what we did the other end. So we're going to go from the middle to the top with a th group of three. One, two, three. So I'm going to sew into the base. So that's the shoulder. I'm going to do our group of seven, as I mentioned earlier. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go round and clockwise back through the same hole to get the loop. I'm going to sew up through three. So one, two, three. I'm going to miss the fourth, down through five, six, seven. in my needle to get a nice point and I'm going to sew back down through the dart bead and I'm going to fill the shoulder one two three and I'm going to sew across the bead trying to make sure that you don't actually pierce through one of your little elevens and at this point, I'm going to cut off my tail, so I won't need that anymore. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew through the first two of this group of three that I first added. So I'm going to sew through two. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to jump up to the middle bead of these next three groups, and I'm going to fill them little spaces with five 15 O's. Now it's not very often I work with 15 O's and I love working with them so I'm really pleased that I can incorporate them in this design. So I'm exiting through the middle of this group of three. I'm going to jump the space into the point and just give it a wiggle until you have a little triangle or a little dome it'll be at this point. Then you're going to pick up five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to jump the space. And I'm going to repeat it on this side. And I'm 
I'm going to go into the middle. So you have your three triangles, or if I had to place that down, of your 15 O's. And then what I'm going to do, if you were going to make a necklace with the vertical points, like we've got here, you will need to do a little bit of extra something at the point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sew through the next group of beads. So I'm going to go through the third of that group. And I'm going to sew through the three. going to go up through the next four so I'm exiting through the point at the top because what I want to do is I want to make a little beaded section that I'm able to attach the next beaded section to so we're going to do what's called a pico or a little bit of right angled weave so I'm going to pick up one two three of my elevens again I'm going to go clockwise through and then when you come to do your next motif You'll do that little pico at the end, but you'll omit bead two because bead two will already be here from the previous little section, as you can see on the completed necklace there. So now I'm going to sew down through. And then I'm going to go up through the shoulder three. And this is where we come to add our 15 O's. So there's our first group of three. So I'm going to sew up through two. Just move the necklace out of the way. I'm going to pick up five of my little 15 O's. I'm going to jump across. Like so. Now if I wanted to make the bracelet, which is the horizontal additions here, I'm going to do something slightly different. So I've already made a second piece here, which I want to attach to it. So when I come to the middle group of five, what I'm going to do of the 15 O's is I'm going to pick up two. I'm going to go across to my next section and I'm going to take my needle through the middle of that group of five and place that down. Okay, so that's now three elevens. So two I've just added. Number three is from the previous motif. And then I'm going to pick up two to make the five and I'm going to sew into the section over here. So you can see now those two are joined together. I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to skip the gap into the middle of that group. So if I bring that across now, and there's our next little little um, point of a triangle. Now to finish off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and I'm just going to sew maybe through two or three beads, just to get away from that little section I've made. Okay, and then I'm, all I'm simply going to do is I'm going to take my needle round the back and up through the gap that's in between those 11 O's. I'm going to make a loop and I'm going to take my needle through once, my needle through twice, pull nice and tight. There's a nice little knot fit knot sitting in there and I'm just going to sew away from the knot so go through a couple of bees just to get away from the knot pull nice and tight so the knot disappears in amongst the beads and then I'm ready then to go in and cut off my thread like so okay so that's how you attach the two bracelets the two pieces sorry to the bracelet then we have our little picots which would then allow you to attach vertical motifs. We bring the bracelet up as well, like so. And then we also, as I said, to make the braid tea, to make the earring, all I've done is I've made a seed bead loop at the top and a little decorative loop at the bottom. 
and that's a perfect fit then to attach our shepherd's hook to make our earrings. So that's the dark bead Tibetan style, isn't it? It's, it's got quite an Asian influence to it, um, motif. So attaching horizontally using your 15 O's or vertically using your 11 O picos. And I have to say, um, I've got quite an affinity with the dart bead as it, um, it's, I'm lucky enough to have actually designed it myself and to actually bring, bring it to life in pieces of jewellery like this. It's, it makes my job all the worthwhile. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and I really look forward to seeing your pieces of work very soon. Bye.